At a recent Awake Together Summit, we sat down with sleep apnea patients and asked them to discuss their experiences. This is what they told us about their first time using a CPAP device. This is Matt Gentry. Some people find God, I found CPAP life. And it's amazing. When I first began being compliant and wearing the CPAP mask, I knew right away, I could tell. There was a transition. It, it's, it takes time to adjust. But I knew that I was feeling better. I knew I was on the right track. And the more that I read, the more I became obsessed with it. And I mean, I preach it all the time. That I, I can't stop talking about it. I know I was sick my whole life. I've never been this alert. It's amazing. It's like I'm on a natural drug of, <laughs> I'm awake for the first time ever. And it's amazing. This is Janice Sternfeld. It was not a night and day experience for me to use a CPAP machine. I didn't want to do it, first of all, so that was really difficult. But it was very, very uncomfortable. I was very claustrophobic, so I was having panic attacks, and I'd rip the mask off and then have to put it back on. And it was just very terrible that first couple nights, especially. I learned to set little goals for myself about, you know, tonight I'll sleep this many hours uh, with it, hopefully before I wake up, or I will count to 10 before I rip it off my face and see if I can keep it on instead. So I made little goals like that, and my long-term goal was to sleep through a night, and it, it took about three months to accomplish that. I woke up in a state of peace and comfort, and I think for decades of my life, I had woken up bathed in uh, stress hormones so, to the point where I would wake up in incredible tension and um, negative feelings and, and just very angry and upset every morning. And that first morning after I slept all night with CPAP, I woke up in absolute peace and comfort. And I hadn't experienced that since I was a toddler. That's how long I remember since I felt that way before. And it felt good. It felt like a great drug that, you know, if people knew they'd be selling CPAPs on street corners and things. This is Dr. Joseph Borelli. Um, the first night that I used CPAP properly, I woke up a different person. It was just, wow. I mean, I could hear better. I could see everything better. I could, it's just like I was alive again. And prior to that, I described the feeling of being in a fog. It's almost like there's a veil between me and my surroundings and my environment, whether it's what I'm listening to, inattentiveness, remembering things, short-term memory, meeting someone and not remembering their name 10 seconds later, all that started lifting. Having that feeling that first day and then continuing on that motivated me. This is really the first time I went to bed knowing the next day hey, I'm probably gonna feel better when I wake up than when I went to bed. Once I had that feeling in the morning, wow, I actually feel better than I went to bed. It was, it was a revelation, it was remarkable. I was very highly motivated to continue using the CPAP. Everything improved dramatically. It went from being almost an invalid to being alive again. It's that simple. This is Richard Brin. Getting the CPAP machine did make a huge difference. To just get up in the morning without a severe headache, without taking aspirin, you know, you're, you're so oxygen deprived that you're in this stupor. You know, so it takes longer to get going. It's not just a cup of coffee, you know, it's, it's taking time for your oxygen levels to come back up so that you can start thinking clearly. So as far as I was concerned, I could immediately tell it, like I said, that first night after having done the test, it, I felt different and I didn't know what that was, and that was your body finally feeling somewhat rested and not being in a fog. And what's it like to be alert when you wake up? This is Brian Delaney. Yeah, I'm one of those people that the CPAP and me, the, the puzzle pieces fit, that, fit together because it worked perfectly. I slept for four hours with that mask on, and that was the best four hours of sleep I had in six months. I literally felt like a reborn person after that four hours, and the worst part of it was they, you know, you got like, here's the machine, you give you a little taste of sleep, and then they say, okay, you'll get your, your machine in a couple weeks. And then you're like, seriously, I have to wait two weeks to get that sleep again? 
And then like, it was like, like, a, you know, somebody gave you, gave you some candy and then they don't give it to you again for two weeks as a little kid. It's just torture. So that two weeks was the most memorable two weeks because I knew what it was like to sleep with it, but I didn't have one. You know, if I had a friend that had one, I would have stole it, you know. And then when I got my own machine, the snoring ended 100% right there. So I don't snore at all with the CPAP on. For more information, visit our website, sleepapnea.org, the American Sleep Apnea Association.